Welcome to UDK Resurrection. I am Carter, and I will be your narrator for this video. Today, we'll cover animation. I will teach you how to make and use an anim set, and how to set up an anim tree for future use. Trust me, you'll need the latter for a future tutorial video. Now what is an animation set? Anim sets are the backbone of skeletal animation in Unreal Engine 3. They are paramount to your character's ability to idle, walk, run, jump, and perform any other animations in the game. As for an animation tree, well, let's just say they are required for your player character to function properly, communicating between the pawn and player controller classes in Unreal Script, the game's scripting language. It can be modified to respond to movement, actions such as attacking, jumping, driving, dynamically scriptable interactions, and many more. Let's get started. Right-click on the gray space in the content browser and create a new anim set. Give your anim set a name of your choice and click the OK button. In the Anim Set Editor, click on File, then select Import FBX Animation. I hope you have made some spare animations. You should now have a list of animation sequences loaded into the Set Editor. For my case, using the animations Anya Nacho provided, I have idle, walking, running, and jumping animations. The usual basics for an adventure video game. Now, let's test at least one of the animations in the Editor Viewport. To do this, need to spawn our character by dragging it into the viewport like we did in the previous Meshes and Materials tutorial. Now right-click on that same mesh to access its actor properties. Then search for the Anim Sets array under the Skeletal Mesh Actor category. Then the Skeletal Mesh Component drop-downs. Look for the Anim Set we created in the Content Browser and select it. Then assign it to the newly created Anim Sets array entry in the Player Mesh's Actor Properties. Now it's time to assign an animation. I will use the Idle animation. Open the animations drop-down and type in the name of the animation sequence you want to play. Alternatively, you can also copy a name of the desired animation in the Anim Set Editor. Just right-click on the sequence name and select Copy Sequence Name to Clipboard from the drop-down. Oh, and don't forget to set the playing and looping checkboxes. Launch Pi, and you will see our player finally playing the idle animation in the world. Now that you know the basics of how to use an Anim Set, let me show you a thing or two about the Anim Tree. Like I said earlier, you won't be able to use it immediately at first. That's where Unreal Script comes in handy. However, I do fancy some pre-planning. So let's go ahead and set one up anyway. Same routine as the Anim set. Right click, gray space, create new Anim tree, you get the score. Set a name for it and click OK. Now when you launch the Anim tree, you'll notice it's empty. We need to set up a preview mesh and Anim set. Let's do that now. Click on the Anim tree node. Then look to the bottom of the Anim Tree Editor to find the Anim Tree properties. Let's create two Anim groups, Idle and Run. You will want these in the future. These are actually synchronization groups. They manage syncing any Anims bound to that group. We will have to cover more of that in a later tutorial video. Next, let's set a Preview Mesh and Preview Anim Set. Just navigate to the necessary assets in the Content Browser and assign them. Now time for the fun part. We need a way for our tree to switch animations between the player idling or standing still and moving. For that, we need a UDK Anim Blend by Idle node. Let's create one now. Next, we need an Anim node sequence. Create that and then assign it to the idle input connector. Don't forget to give that Anim node a name too. For moving, we're going to need a directional node. That's what Anim Node Blend Directional is for. Finally, create four more Anim nodes, assign them to the respective directional input connectors, and assign the sequences their respective names. You now have a fully functional Anim tree that blends between idle and moving animations. This concludes this tutorial video. If you like what we do, click the like and subscribe buttons. Until then, this is Carter signing off.